Good afternoon, supporters and uh, friends of the Battleship Iowa Museum. Um, I'm down by the uh, post office today on second deck, um, which we do have some of our add-on tours that go through this area. It's a rainy day outside at the uh, ship and a fairly slow uh, day. But with that being said, I want to address the uh, coronavirus, the COVID-19 update here on the ship. You may see an email that comes out from me um, today discussing what we're doing to uh, to try to prevent any kind of outbreak here um, and we're being uh, vigilant on what we do here aboard the ship. Um, we're encouraging uh, everybody that visits as well as our crew to frequently wash and disinfect their hands. Um, we've increased our sanitation, uh, sanitization routine on frequently touched surfaces including um, the bunks that the youth stay in on Friday and Saturday night. Um, we have deployed liquid sanitizer uh, throughout the ship at this point. Our crew has been encouraged to uh, limit any kind of um, direct skin contact activities. So we're actually going to uh, some virtual meetings where possible. Um, our frontline staff that is dealing uh, directly with the public and currency transactions is uh, wearing protective gloves at this point. And of course, there's windows in front of them already um, to protect against any kind of exposure there. And uh, we've also requested, oh, as I mentioned, uh, limit in-person meetings and also to the limit the uh, possible direct skin contact. So we're going to do our best to, uh, um, to, to prevent any kind of outbreak here at the Battleship Iowa Museum and really pre um, prevent it and do a, a routine to stay on top of this. Um, with that being said, uh, we of course can't uh, control anything uh, that we may try to try to control or prevent. There's always that possibility that exists, but if we can try to reduce the exposure, we're going to do so. Um, but what we are seeing is a, a direct result um, of reduced tourism. Uh, we've seen in the past week, our attendance is flat to a little bit down right now. We've also seen some of the uh, overnight programs and events cancel on board the ship uh, in, in the interim, in the near term future. And that, of course, has a financial impact on a nonprofit organization such as ourselves um, that really relies on uh, tourism revenues and some of those extra programs, overnight programs and events programs um, to generate revenue to sustain what we do here from the maintenance side to the, the staff level to, uh, um, you know, all the different facets that occur in a museum such as this. And so um, we're asking all of our friends and supporters out there um, to hopefully support us and we'll be fine getting through that. Uh, if we can get everybody to contribute at least $10 of our supporter base, um, we'd be in a great position um, to weather this storm. Uh, so we're hoping that each and every one of you will think about contributing at least $10, if not more. Um, with that being said, uh, you can do that on our website at pacificbattleship.com. There's a donate button on there and you'll also find the donate button on one of our emails. We truly appreciate your support. Um, we appreciate your, uh, you coming down and visiting and uh, ensuring that we all weather this uh, storm in the United States and across the world in the uh, best possible fashion and quickest way we possibly can. So thank you all. Um, I wish you a, an amazing week and uh, I look forward to talking to you next week. Thank you.